Welcome to another showing of The Cocktail Enthusiast with myself, The Cocktail Enthusiast. Today, I'm doubling back on claims I made in my last video. I said I wouldn't do any more creamy cocktails. I said I'm done with vodka for a bit, but I came across this recipe and I gotta give it a shot. Today, we're looking at how to make a peppermint martini. Let's go. And always remember, if you like what you're about to see, hit that like button, click that subscribe button so I can continue to give you, the viewer, that entertaining juice, that flavor, that whoo! Oh yeah! Now let's take a look at what you're gonna need to make this cocktail. You're gonna want peppermint schnapps, creme de cacao, a bottle of vodka, heavy cream, or as we call it in Canada, whipping cream or whipped cream, what is it? Whipping cream, 35%, that's what you want. Corn syrup, mint candies of your choice, and today's glass of choice, a martini. Now it's time for the pour. First, we're gonna get in a half of an ounce of vodka. Next, you wanna follow up with one ounce of peppermint schnapps. After this, you're gonna pour in one and a half ounces of your creme de cacao. Then you want to pour in one and a half ounces of your heavy slash whipping slash 35% cream. You know what time it is. We're going to get some ice in your shaker and we're using that Ziploc bag because we're making cocktails at home. Now let's get this guy sealed up. It's time to shake up those demons. <laughs> every goddamn time. There we go. I need to stop over exaggerating with this, man. Now let's grab your glass out of the freezer. So now we're actually gonna prepare our rim. We're gonna grab that corn syrup and use it to pretty much rim our glass so that we can use it to stick the mint candies onto. Next, we'll go ahead and fine strain our mix. God damn! Look at the way it flowed. Looking damn good. And now, it's time for the taste rating. <laughs> You wasn't supposed to see that. Uh, sometimes my belly gets out, you know, my belly gets out when I do these motions every now and then. You're, you're supposed to turn away when, when my, turn away when my belly comes out, okay? So here we are again with another creamy cocktail, despite me talking shit about it in my last video. It is what it is. To be honest, I'm super pumped to know what this tastes like. I have no idea what to expect. So without further ado, let's, let's just give this a taste test right now. Oh, I got the shakes. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Jeez! Yo! Yo! I'm about to get evicted. This is it. This is it. This is the one. You would think it's super sweet, but it's like the perfect balance. You know, it has that creamy weight to it, but the mint adds like a, a refreshing element, almost as if, like the mint has the same effect that lime would have in a beverage. Like it, it I guess it just, it, I forgot my AC was still on. Let me turn it off real quick and we will continue. But yeah, the taste of mint, it, it kind of sharpens it a bit. And then the creme de cacao just, that's where the sweetness really comes in because the cream by itself can't really do much. It's not really sweetened cream, I think. It shouldn't be. That said, everything comes together to really give you a sense of just winter refreshing goodness. And I really like this cocktail, to be honest. This cocktail has put me in the holiday spirit. I like it. Honestly, this is a good one. But I can't take credit for this cocktail, okay? I can't take credit because I got this from, so I was on the interwebs and I eventually came across this cocktail and it was actually made by a couple, um, well, the wife in the couple, her name is Sonia Overheiser, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna link it in my description so you know you can check it out. I have to give props where props is due. Sonia, wherever you are on this planet, you know what you're doing, this is some good ass shit. I love it. But that being said, don't take my word for it. You take that sip and love life. So you can expect to see my next video. Oh shit. So you can expect to see my next video next week, as always. Mm. So good. But until then, sink your teeth into this cocktail. Let me know if you like it. 
Let me know if you don't in the comment section below because I can take both ends of the spectrum. And always remember, I'm not a bartender or a specialist. I'm just a cocktail enthusiast making some good ass cocktails and having a good ass time. Oh yeah. It's that time again for me to give back to you, the community, for participating and interacting in my last video where I was making an eggnog mudslide. If you haven't seen it already, do a double back, give it a look. I had uh, very interesting opinions. Uh, <sighs> Definitely not my preference, but if you do want to see it still, give it a look. That being said, we got a comment from Aravalo saying, damn bro, excellent. Yo, you really did like that mudslide, eh? Give it a try if you haven't already. Give it a try, let me know if you like it. And also, did you get a chance to do the Grand Marnier for the, um, the French Connection? I'm still waiting for your feedback, man. Come on, give it to me. Angry Cocktails coming through saying he's getting into eggnog at the moment. How's that going for you, Angry? Are you loving it? Are you chugging it? What kind of cocktails are you making with it? What's your favorite eggnog cocktail? Give me the scoop. Give me what you would recommend and I'd be more than willing to try to see just how good your taste is. Commander Cool coming through saying, hell of a way to find out that you're lactose intolerant. So I'm not lactose intolerant, FYI, everyone that's watching this, but for some strange reason, when I had that cocktail last week, my stomach just decided to unleash all hell and chaos. It was a full on maelstrom in my body. That being said though, no bowels were destroyed. All organs remain intact. My body is safe. I am not lactose intolerant. There you go. Lastly, Arts, Drinks, and Things by Damo comes through saying he's always taking that sip, which I always appreciate. You take that damn sip, as I always say. But as for the cocktail, he mentioned it definitely looks like it could rumble up the guts a bit. Man, let me tell you. It, yeah, you know what? The amount of cream in that cocktail, the thickness, you'd better take a nice sit on that throne, open wide, and release all chaos into your plumbing system. Maybe that was, T I think that was TMI. You know what, let's, let's just forget that comment even happened. I did not say anything. You know what, Damo, you're right, I agree. Let's leave it at that. But yeah, that's all I have for this week. Once again, I do apologize for coming up late. Well, you know what, it wasn't even really that late. It's still within the week, so you know what? I I'm not gonna beat myself up. I was within schedule. That said, I hope you appreciate my, um, my holiday sweater, you know, I wanted to get into the mood, get into the vibe since I was making a peppermint cocktail. You know, red's not a bad look. Red's not a bad look on your boy, but um, I'm gonna take this off immediately after this video. Trust me, I cannot deal with this. But that being said, I will see you guys next week. Not for another cocktail. So next week, I'm gonna do a challenge video, right? We're gonna do the final challenge of the year. And I say final, even though I only did like two this year. But anyway, we're gonna do a challenge video next week. And then we'll make one more cocktail for 2021. And then after that, we just, you know, I'll take a break and come back in the new year for a brand new cocktail. So I have to figure out where the final cocktail is gonna be, or maybe I'll just do another champagne challenge like a certain video a few months ago or a year ago, which I do not recommend by the way, I almost killed myself. But yeah, I'll see you for the challenge. And then after that, we do that cocktail and then we wrap up the year. So you enjoy the rest of your day, your weekend, your week, your holiday, whatever you got going on. And I'll see you next week. Peace. Summertime